Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I am doing something really crazy. Uh, something I've never done before, but I'm going to go for it just because y'all know I'm crazy, right? So we just have to do this. So today we are going to be making some breast milk soap. And this is exciting because this will be the first time that I actually do a review on a product that I've created. I'm going to show you everything that we're going to need for this breast milk soap. We're going to need a half pound of shea butter soap. We'll break those down and melt those later. One cup of room temperature breast milk. I wasn't sure how much was exactly one cup, so I just brought out two little bottles. We're gonna need 10 drops, uh-oh, okay. We're gonna need 10 drops of the vitamin E oil, two tablespoons of the organic raw and unfiltered honey, and one third cup rolled oats is what the recipe calls for, but we actually have old-fashioned oats, so that's what we're gonna be using today. Optionally, you can have some scents if you'd like. I went to Michael's and picked up some, um, if I can open it, that would be great. I picked up some green tea, uh-oh, let's focus, let's focus. Green tea and cucumber essential oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like half scented, half unscented. So that's gonna basically be it for the recipe, but I'm gonna show you what I actually use to make the breast milk soap, right? A container, microwavable container that I'm going to use because we do have to microwave our shea butter soap. So I'm gonna measure out half a pound from that because that's like a two pound block. I'm gonna chop it up, put it in here and microwave it. Then once I do that, I'm gonna pour it into my measuring cup. And I'm doing that just because this one has the spout. Here's my soap mold that I'm gonna use to make three unscented and three scented breast milk soaps. To mix everything up, I do have a whisk. You guys know I'm just, I'm so extra. So I have to have my whisk. And then I have one cup measuring cup right here for the breast milk. Of course, I already have my one third cup of oats there. And then I have a one tablespoon measuring spoon here because I'm gonna do the two tablespoons with the, for the organic raw honey. So this is basically all you need. It's really not a lot, if you ask me. Um, everything is just ready to go and we are preparing to make our soap. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this up for 30 seconds initially. And then 10 second intervals after that. So start it up real quick, let it do its thing.
thicker than I imagined. It tells me it's not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be probably more liquidy. Yeah, I don't know. This is so bad. This is awful. <laughs> or kind of aired it a little or maybe using the whisk. I don't know. That thing looks like a mess. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys basically how my soap turned out this is the next day I actually left it in the fridge for more than 24 hours um, just because I had a lot of stuff going on today but this is basically what it looks like I shook off as much oatmeal as I could so basically all the oatmeal that you see here is what stuck on the soap so I'm getting ready to take the soap out of the mold now to see how they came out So I'm going to go ahead and try one of these bars on my face. I'm going to do a quick face wash with it and we're going to see how that turns out. So let me see which ones are scented because I don't want to use the one that's got scent on it. So let's see. Got it scented. Scented. Unscented. Okay, cool. So I was able to pick the one out that was unscented, which is, well, one of the three which is this one so we're gonna go ahead and use this on my face um sorry it's a little low here but it is on my camera is on a tripod i'm gonna do a close-up so you can see this is basically what i look like right now i'm very sweaty because it's hot um but this is my skin dry in some areas but it. I'm getting ready to wash right now with this wannabe bar of breast milk soap. <laughs> so let's take a peek and see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and wet my face first. I'm going to turn this light off in my room so y'all see in my room, my room is a hot mess. Okay. So I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to rub this in my skin. I feel like a parfait. Okay, so just first impression, it's definitely very smooth. It's like silky smooth. I really like the feeling of it. Um, it really lands on the skin very silky smooth. Um, I do feel like it's nourishing to my skin. I think that's like the best way to put it. Um, the shea butter, I think, is definitely contributing to that. Mm. It just feels like, almost like I'm in a spa or something, right? Like I'm putting on a mask. The oatmeal, it just smells really good. It feels so good. I'm using like a whole chunk right now, like I'm rubbing it in my face. That's why I wanted to go ahead and, um... Um, moisten my skin first so that way I can carry the product. I look crazy with like bits of oatmeal all over my face. This is hilarious but at the same time I feel kind of good about creating something and to be totally and completely honest with you I'm not even joking y'all 
I thought this was going to be a fail. Like, looking at it, it looks like a fail. Like, I'm not trying to, like, talk myself down. I'm just being real. Like, I really just didn't have high expectations because I didn't really follow the recipe. Like, I followed the recipe in terms of the ingredients, but not in terms of, like, the preparation of it. But even though I didn't, like, it still feels good. Like, it still feels like I'm doing something really, really good for my skin. If I had to guess, I probably used a quarter of the bar. And it's not a very big bar of soap. It's probably like, if I had to measure maybe the palm of my hand, it's, it's really not very big at all. So, but I'm getting that oatmeal in there. You guys see that, right? How relaxing is this? OMG. I feel like I should have made this a long time ago. Well, I guess I wasn't pregnant a long time ago, so I didn't have any breast milk to use. I'm certainly not going to use someone else's breast milk. This is great, guys. This is really great. Oh, yeah. Like, I really like to work this in. Because I feel like when you do an experiment, a review on a product, or whatever, you got to really get in there in order to be able to inform people if it actually works, how it feels, you know, all that stuff. So, I'm going to put these bits and pieces of soap up and then I'm going to wash up really quick and then I'm going to give you guys a close-up of what I'm working with. Y'all, let me just go ahead and say this. I look crazy. A little dot on my lip. I know this looks so crazy, but I can... I'm telling y'all, I literally don't feel like I have anything on my face. I just feel like, I just feel very calm. I feel very relaxed. Like I said, just it smells very natural, right? And even though this stuff is super thick on my face, I mean, I did work it in and I used quite a, quite a generous amount of soap. It's like, I still don't feel like I have anything super heavy on. I feel like it's very light. It just feels very airy, you know? It could be because I whipped the concoction instead of actually stirring it. That was kind of a mistake. But at the same time, I don't know if that was a mistake. Because now it just feels really incredible. Like you know how sometimes you might have some... I have some under my nail you might have some product on your face and it feels like the longer it stays on your face like it's like cracking a little bit there might be like a slight little tingle or a burn or whatever i do not feel like that at all with this and i'm not just saying that i'm like this is something that i made so it's not like i'm you know i'm not selling it so i'm not profiting off of it i'm just being honest like this is my honest review on like how this is working with my skin and so far so good i mean obviously i haven't washed it off yet so i don't see like the result result but so far i'm really not mad so now that i've had it on my face for probably like a good maybe few minutes maybe about five minutes i'm gonna go ahead and wash it off and i'm gonna we're gonna still be doing the demonstration while i'm washing it off so that way you know everything and what's going on right so keeping you in the loop so let's get you set back up over her, over her. Okay. Now let me turn you this way a little bit. Here we go. skin feels so refreshed. I feel like I just got out of the shower. Not kidding. Okay. Okay. So that's like super lazy. It's not a real face towel. It's just a towel I use for my face. I'm ready for my close-up. I'm going to let you guys get super close. And I'm going to try to focus in so you can see. You can see everything.
listen, I'm not BSing y'all. I really was going to be like, I'm going to just throw this in the trash, try again, and I'm going to just film another video because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a fail because it's just not turning out the way I want it. But I think if anything, this experiment has taught me that like just basically don't judge a book by its cover. Like do what you need to do, follow through with it, and then see what it's like on the other side because this really wasn't that bad. Like, I wish like the the bar of soap had been more solid. If I had done it the way it was supposed to have been done, then yes, it would have been more solid. But honestly, I just feel like the results speak for themselves. I thought it was going to be a fail and it actually wound up winning in the end. So I can only imagine if I had actually done it the correct way, like how much better things would have been. But I don't necessarily think the results would have changed. I just think that I would, for me, my feelings about it would have changed in terms of like, I would have felt it looked a lot more polished. It would have looked better. But in this instance, I'm, really okay with it I'm I'm so good so uh, I just wound up putting it in a container as I took it out and this is the piece right here that I used so that's pretty much it right there I didn't touch any of the scented bars because I just that's just not what I'm trying to do I just want to make sure that I focus on getting you guys the goods on just the product itself without anything additional Again, that was my experiment based off of a recipe I also saw on YouTube. You guys feel free to tr check it out yourself. I actually left the recipe down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and do your thug fizzle with it. Have fun. God bless. Please come back to this video. I don't care how long this video has been posted or whatever. Just come back to the video and let me know if you tried this recipe, how it works for you. And what you think about it? Let a player know, you know? I just find it really funny that, like, again, like I said, I was expecting to fail. I was expecting this to just go left. Like, especially when I saw how it came out, I was like, um, no, I'm about to just chuck this whole thing, just take it all to the garbage and call it a day. I'm so glad I didn't do that. I'm so glad. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to save the rest of this soap, and I'm going to continue using it. So, I've used it as a cleanser, but I'm going to go ahead and follow it with my toner and moisturizer and go from there. So I wanted to show you guys after my nighttime routine. The girl's looking a bit dewy. But this is basically what I'm looking like. I'm kind of liking the look. I like the dewy little summer glow sun kiss look, right? I'm also creating a uh, video that's going to show you guys my skincare routine outside of doing the breast milk soap. But I want to show you guys my skincare routine. If it's something that you're interested in, please go ahead and like this video. Please do not forget to hit that thumbs up. and let me know you want to see that video also i'm going to do an experiment with the breast milk soap the same batch that i made here and i'm going to try it on my body and see what kind of results those provide so if that's something you guys are interested in seeing leave me a comment below let me know you're interested in seeing the experiment and what my results are and see if that is a win or a fail as well i want to thank you guys so much for watching my video and uh please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i have videos coming out every single week guys stay tuned i love you guys and god bless bye